Joining us right now is Carl Higby. He is a former Navy SEAL and Great America PAC spokesperson. Good to see you, Carl. Thanks very much for joining us. Do you think that there are more attacks coming? What do you know so far, and what does this tell you about where we are? Well, there's been so many, and I don't know if it's on the heels of the U.N. conference that's here in New York City or if it's uh, just, you know, a, a a pattern of a new norm that we need to get used to and, and start combating. But I, I think it's funny that all these authorities have said it's not international terrorism, but we don't know anything about it. Right. And, and, and Steve, we've got five people right now in custody being questioned. That's what they're saying. They're being questioned. But they will not tell us the ethnicity of these individuals or what else we know. Well, they well, know. well we've been talking about this all weekend. And Carl, you and I have had these conversations. Last night, when the mayor of New York, the police commissioner, and the governor got on TV, it was so difficult for them to utter the words terrorist act, terrorism. And if I may, Carl, what do you make of that? I mean, our leaders are being challenged worldwide. Their authority is being challenged. And here we have even local government leaders who just can't come to grips that these are terrorist acts. Yeah, and, and the fact is, it doesn't have to be Islamic to be terrorism. I mean, you could have a, a moron from the Bronx blowing up trash cans, and that's still terrorism. I mean, I don't know what they can't understand about this. And, and you know, Maria, we've always said to people, you know, if you see something, say something. Obviously, in Elizabeth, a couple of people saw things. But to your point, why not well, tell and us? Even, even the woman who spotted the second bomb, undetonated bomb in Chelsea, in the pressure cooker, there was a woman who saw it on the side of the street, and she called the cops that, that, and that, said, and this doesn't look right. That's the importance of that. But transparency is important. As you, to your point, Maria, we need to know the ethnicity of people. We need to know their background where they're from, the reluctance to give us this information is very troubling. Yeah. But I think that we have to nail down all the details. They have to nail down the details before they start putting names out there because you, you, you don't want to defame people before you, you actually know whether they were actually involved. This in is not about people. This is about just using the word terrorism. Well, and when you, well, sure. it, when you detonate or when, a, when a, a bomb goes off in the middle of the largest city in the United States and it's loaded with shrapnel, it's meant to kill. That's a terrorist act. Don't think, don't that's that's any, terrorism. I don't think anyone here disagrees that that's terrorism. The question is, is whether you start calling it Islamic terrorism or something else. But they and were having a hard time even saying terrorism. De Blasio did. That's why we're, we're, it's bothersome. De Blasio right, right. did not use that word. He used intentional act. Intentional act. act. Well, he did well, not say new one. Well, to that point, uh, they also used this was a criminal violent act, and that is what troubles me. It goes back to Fort Hood. It's always workplace violence. It's a criminal yeah. act. So we are at war, and until we wake up and realize that we are at war, we're not going to be fighting this war with the tools we need to win. The authorities are trying to see if there is a connection. Minnesota, Seaside Heights, Manhattan, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Do either of the, any of these have characteristics of a lone wolf terrorist, or do you think that they could be the work of a smaller group, Carl? Well, I think we know firsthand that there are terrorist groups operating here in America. I mean, we, we know that firsthand. The problem is, are they organized enough to carry out these attacks? And I think this is becoming very apparent that they are. They are starting to organize, and this could, I mean, they had five, what, five people arrested? And it could be just inspired by. Yeah. Well, well, well we, we, know, we, we know that this was Islamic terror in, in Minnesota, yes, don't we? Yes, they're celebrating. I mean, yeah, the they've taken responsibility. They, they said that, that is an ISIS soldier. But, right, the, so. but, the, but, but a question that needs to be answered, Carl, is, was there an execute order this week? I mean, we have, these aren't coincidences. This seems like some coordinated effort that yeah. maybe fouled up a little yeah. bit. But what do you think of that? Was there an execute order given? Well, well, and we don't know. And that's part of the problem here is we're not waging the social war against this. I mean, you have a, a small fraction of, of Islam that is radicalized. But then you also have a large part that is willing to stand idly by and allow it to happen without saying anything to the local authorities. And that's the social war we need to start waging here. We have not heard from President Obama on the bombings yet. Now, he did make some comments at a campaign rally that you should vote for Hillary Clinton, otherwise I'm going to be insulted and my legacy will be insulted. He also said that, uh, you know, people are uncomfortable with a powerful woman. Uh, he's calling it sexism in the campaign. No word, though, on the bombing, Stegen. Right, and it, I always think back in terms of the president and all of our, a lot of our elected leaders, how they respond to these acts. And his his kind of go-to is to ignore or dismiss them. And remember the Atlantic interview that he did where it goes into that he frequently tells his advisors that more people die in bathtub falls than in terrorism in the United States. And it goes to the point of Americans know that anybody is potentially a target at this point. And I think New Yorkers know that, um, particularly after the 15th uh, anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. But after a shooting, we always 
always hear from him about what we need to do Guns. in terms of gun control. Right. But what about what we need to do to fight terrorism in the United States, regardless of what, who is behind it? But what are we doing to end this, right. to stop this? Let's talk so, about so you that. You talk about bathroom, bathroom falls. It's not like there's a coordinated global conspiracy to yeah. hurt people in bathtubs. He, he, he he well, I, I raise it because you're Americans. all saying they're afraid to mention terrorism. This is why. Well, the president right. won't raise it. Right. So why would local officials feel comfortable raising it? And the people are uncomfortable with weakness, with with a apology, always apologizing to our enemies. They want strength, they want a response. And you're right, Maria, it begins at the top at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Congress, to see you. Yeah, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so for much for me. joining us. We appreciate it this morning.